Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose xn is a sequence of real numbers that converges to the value x. Then, the sequence of absolute values of xn's converges to the absolute value of x. Now, before we get to the proof, let's remind ourselves what these two things mean. If we recall from the definition of the limit of a sequence, to say that xn converges to x means that for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a positive integer k such that for all positive integers n greater than or equal to k, the absolute value of xn minus x is less than epsilon. In a similar way, to say that the absolute value of xn converges to the absolute value of x is the same thing as this. It's just instead of xn and x, we have absolute value of xn and absolute value of x. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, our whole goal is to prove that the sequence of absolute values converges to the absolute value of x. So really, we want to prove this statement. And since we're trying to prove a statement about every epsilon greater than zero, give me an arbitrary epsilon greater than zero. And from here, we want to find a positive integer which makes this statement turn out true. Now to start, since we're given that xn converges to x, this means we know that this first statement is true. And since this statement works for every positive real number, it must work for the positive real number epsilon that we have in our proof. So taking epsilon to be the epsilon we have in our proof, we have that this must be true. So there is some positive integer, I'll call it p, such that for all positive integers n greater than or equal to p, the absolute value of xn minus x is less than epsilon. Now remember, our goal is to find a positive integer which makes this statement turn out true. And our claim is that p will make this statement turn out true. So we'll take k here to be p. And we proceed to show that for all positive integers n greater than or equal to p, this is true. So since we're trying to prove a statement about every positive integer greater than or equal to p, give me an arbitrary positive integer greater than or equal to p. I'll call it n. From here, we want to show that this inequality is true. So let me start off by writing the left-hand side of this inequality. Now, if you recall, from the reverse triangle inequality, this guy is really less than or equal to the absolute value of xn minus x, right? It is in fact true for all real numbers a and b, the absolute value of the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b. So, this is true. Now, let's also remember that this statement is true, and this statement works for every positive integer greater than or equal to p. So, it must work for the positive integer n that we have here. So, taking n to be the n we have here, we have that the absolute value of xn minus x is less than epsilon. So, really, this guy is less than epsilon. And so, we have shown that this is less than epsilon, which is what we wanted to show. So putting this together now, we see that under the assumption n is greater than or equal to p, we have that this is less than epsilon. Since n is arbitrary, this means we have shown for all positive integers n greater than or equal to p, this is less than epsilon. So we have found a positive integer which makes this statement turn out true. Namely, p makes this statement turn out true, so we have proven that this is true. And we proved that this was true, under the assumption of some arbitrary epsilon greater than zero. Since epsilon was arbitrary, this means we have shown for all epsilon greater than zero, this is true. So we've proven this entire statement, which means we have proven that the sequence of absolute values of xn's converges to the absolute value of x. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.